Yo, hey, this shit hey. easy, nigga. Hey, I'm talking about, nigga. I'm still out here trying to get it. Contender regime boxing checking back in with y'all, man. What's happening? What's going on? Hey, man. Um, I just find this shit weird. You know what I'm saying? Terrence Crawford, Bob Arum, and I haven't really heard Terrence Crawford himself come out and say anything about, um, you know, fighting McGregor or the possibility of fighting McGregor. But you know, as we know, just like um, Kenny Porter and Al Heyman, they're the ones who close deals for the brother Sean Porter. The same thing go for Terrence Crawford. Bob Arum is the one that closed the deals over there. He controls everything that go on with Terrence Crawford. Let's be real. You know what I'm saying? So I just find it odd that, you know, they willing to, you know what I'm saying? They willing to, to fight McGregor, even in MMA. Now, I don't know if they just trolling or, I mean, but why would you? I mean, what's the benefit to that? You know, I mean, it keeps your name hot. It keeps you... You know, it, it puts casual fans or people that's, you know, MMA fans that may not be, uh, you know, full throttle boxing fans, but, you know, peek their head in. Oh, who is this guy, Terrence Crawford? Let's see what he's about. So I guess it kind of, you know, keep your name hot. Um, and I think the fight would definitely, you know, for notoriety and popularity, it'll do something for Terrence Crawford. But, you know, as far as boxing and uh, competitive nature and, you know, um, you know, getting closer to big fights like Earl Spence Jr., Manny Pacquiao, Keith Thurman, shit like that. This does nothing for Terrence Crawford. But I just find it odd that you would, they would even be willing to bring Ter bring uh, Conor McGregor into the boxing ring, or even have Terrence Crawford go into the octagon. Y'all willing to do all that before fighting Sean Porter? Kenny Porter just did another interview. Again, I posted it in the community. He just did this like yesterday or the day before. You know what I'm saying? Saying that they still haven't gotten no call from Bob Arum. They still haven't gotten no offer. Y'all know if this fight going to happen, it's going to be Bob Arum offering to Sean Porter because the fight is most likely going to be on ESPN. It's going to be under the top rank banner. You dig what I'm saying? So they going to have to offer Sean a deal. You know what I'm saying? They're going to have to pay Sean and they're going to have to bring him over to ESPN. So it, Sean Porter can't offer Terrence Crawford no deal. You know what I'm saying? Because in this case, Terrence Crawford and them is they're going to be like the quote unquote A side. And they're the ones who's trying to set up a fight for their fighter. Sean Porter just here. <laughs> he trying to fuck shit up, basically. You know what I'm saying? He trying to he trying to get in where he fit in. You feel me? Like I said, he's probably the toughest guy in the division to get a win on. You know what I mean? You ain't going to go in there with Sean Porter and just think shit going to be sweet. I told y'all time after time after time, I feel like Sean Porter will beat Terrence Crawford, possibly stop him. You can take that how you want it. Styles make fights. You dig what I'm saying? But I just think it's a great fight altogether. Whether, Sean, whether Terrence Crawford win or Sean Porter win, I think it's a great fucking fight. You know what I'm saying? Action-packed, entertaining. You know Sean Porter going to be on your neck. You feel me? Like, he ain't going to let you just come out that hole like it's just a game. Because it ain't. It's never like that with Sean Porter. He always going to make you work for every inch of your success. And that's why I want to see this fight. Because it'll be Terrence Crawford's biggest test. You know what I'm saying? But Team Crawford and Top Rank, it seemed like they reluctant to put him in there with anybody that posed any type of threat. If it ain't no big money fight. You know what I'm saying? It looked like they only chasing money, bro. Look. They think they're going to get some big money off of fighting Conor McGregor. I mean, you Conor McGregor hot right now. They trying, they really trying to ride that Conor McGregor wave. You feel me? He hot right now. Just coming off of a spectacular knockout. His fastest knockout. Y'all know he knocked out uh, Jose Aldo. Jose Aldo real quick. That was like his fastest knockout, a record-breaking knockout. Now he just beat that record. You feel me? So he hot right now. You know what I'm saying? So they trying to ride that Conor McGregor wave and shit. But... Really, y'all need to be trying to fight competitive, welterweight fights. I told you, if he don't fight, Sean Porter, Earl Spence, Manny Pacquiao, Keith Thurman, uh, Danny Garcia, or Jordanis Ugas in his next fight, that shit don't mean nothing, bro. It don't mean nothing. You know what I'm saying? It don't mean nothing unless you going up to 154 and you fighting Charlo or J-Rock Williams or Rosario or Tony Harrison or Jerry Hurd. 
You know what I'm saying? Don't go up there and fight no damn uh, Teixeira or whatever his name is. Teixeira, don't go up there and fight him because that ain't going to do nothing for you. If you're going to go to 154, you need to fight somebody that's meaningful. You feel me? So I'm just, hey, man, look, I just want to see what's going to happen, man, how this going to unfold. It seemed like, you know, Kenny Porter, Big Kenny, you know what I'm saying? Kenny Porter, a.k.a. KD, the a.k.a. Big Kenny, bro, he been saying like, hey, make that call, bro. We want Terrence Crawford. We want that fight. And then he went even far as to say that it ain't even about the belt. The belt just extra, bro. It's about legacy. You know what I'm saying? It's about competition. We want to put ourselves up against the best, just like they always do. You know, Sean Porter want that smoke. You know what I mean? Sean Porter ain't never been the one to come out to talk and talk about, oh, I want this fight and this fight. You know, he, he'll say that every now and then. You know what I'm saying? But the person that, that do the talking and do the deal closing – for Team Porter is Kenny Porter, a.k.a. Big Kenny, a.k.a. K. Diddy. You know what I'm saying? So y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man. Like, are they, is, is Team Crawford avoiding Sean Porter? Are they avoiding the possibility of that fight entertaining McGregor? You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, you got Sean Porter right here. Offer him a deal. Offer him a good deal, man. Pay that man. It's going to bring you more respect. And, you know, in the long run, it's going to get you ready or more ready for a possible fight with with um, with Earl Spence than, you know, Conor McGregor. You dig what I'm saying? So y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man. Contender Regime Boxing. I holla at y'all boys, man.